Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. Oh my god. I just noticed like, wow, my hair is a mess. Um, so since going vegetarian, wow, I really... No makeup. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at myself on camera like, ooh. Um, a, since going vegetarian, I've kind of changed how I grocery shop. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what I bought. Um, I do buy for me and my husband. Um, he's kind of become like a vegetarian by default because I don't really buy um, meat like I used to because I would buy so many different kinds of meat. I would buy chicken thighs. I would buy sausage. I would buy, um, I'd buy pork. I would buy um, steak tips, you know, so... Um, now all I buy is fish and this time I actually didn't need to buy fish because um, my freezer is actually quite full of fish. So um, I will say since I'm in here I will show you what I bought. So this is kind of like I buy it for the house. This is not on a good vegetarian diet um, but I don't believe ever in depriving myself. So um, if there is a night that I want ice cream um, I do have one ice cream bar which kind of controls my portions um so i bought three of these lean cuisines um so that i can eat them at work i got asparagus and cheese ravioli flavor spinach and artichoke ravioli flavor and mushroom mezzaluna ravioli flavor um i don't eat a ton of pasta which i think as a vegetarian it's very easy to go that route um i don't eat a ton of it so in my fridge I bought the um, organic reduced fat milk, um, just the supermarket brand. Um, I've got some orange juices. Um, for my husband, he likes Gatorade. Um, I have started using um, egg whites. This time I got um, the like egg, it's not egg whites, it's like the whole egg. Um, but just a cholesterol free version. Um, that was part of why I've gone vegetarian is to reduce my cholesterol. Um, I have chicken broth. I use this to flavor my brown rice. Um, I got this better than sour cream. Um, sour cream, it is imitation sour cream, but it's um, a healthier option um, because the regular sour cream can have a lot of saturated fat in it. I got Tempty, um, this is um, not whipped cream, oh my god, cream cheese. <laughs> I'm like, Philadelphia, uh, cream cheese, So, but this is um, only 80 calories a serving, mostly for my husband, occasionally I'll have a bagel. Um, I got this butternut squash that's already cut. I've bought regular butternut squash and cut it myself, but I'm always scared because it's so thick and so hard. I'm scared that I'm going to um, hurt myself with the knife. So um, I bought five of these cottage cheese doubles uh, by the brand Breakstone. Um, so you get cottage cheese in one side and fruit in the other. That's a good source of protein. Um, speaking of protein, I got muscle milk. Um, these are 100 calorie packs of muscle milk, so um, I won't, and they're sugar free, um, as like a recovery drink for after the gym. Um, oh, I didn't even finish on the top shelf. I get these uh, garlic cloves already cut. Mm, I just smell it, it smells so good. So I use that as um, an ingredient. I got sliced mushrooms, I like to use that in my eggs or in other cooking and mushrooms um, have a very meaty kind of like texture and um, yeah, I guess it's just a texture thing, but they're nice as like a meat substitute without using tofu or tempeh and watch my tempeh video for how I feel about that. Um, and then I got fruit. So um, a little container of fruit here that I like to bring to work. I'm watching my son over there and um, a big fruit thing here um, on this other half of the bottom shelf, I got some shredded cheese that I like to use when I make eggs. I try to go light on the, the cheese because it is a big source of saturated fat. Um, that's like the equivalent of fried food, so um, I don't like to use a lot, but um, I do use a little bit. I got these um, pasta things. 
This is wild mushroom, and I have butternut squash down there. Um, and then some vegetables here. This is summer squash. Asparagus and chives, um, which I like to cut up my chives and put those in my scrambled eggs. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like everything else I already had. Um, so that's that. And then so what's on my counter and um, that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Um, these Velveeta um, breakfast crackers. I am eating these as an alternative to Nutri-Grain bars because um, I really used to eat a lot of Nutri-Grain bars. Um, so just to get something in my system um, in the morning, you know, whatever. Um, that is, if I don't have time to eat cereal, this is the Kashi cereal. Cinnamon Harvest is my favorite flavor. Um, cereal is something that I eat a lot when I'm hungry and I'm thinking about hitting up a drive through Like, I'll have a bowl of cereal, satisfies my hunger, and I don't go out and eat a completely unhealthy option. I'm looking at the time. This video's kind of going over a little bit. Um, I got my Minute Brown Rice. This cooks in 10 minutes. I love to cook it with chicken broth. Um, I've gone vegetarian, but not for, like, animal rights reasons. So um, I s still will flavor it with chicken broth, um, but you can, of course, make it with water. Um, this is for my husband, bagels, um, but occasionally I do have a bagel. Um, coffee for the house, Cafe Bustello, it's an espresso coffee. Uh, again, because I don't believe in depriving myself. Chocolate chip cookies, I always get chocolate chip cookies. I don't eat them every night, but I do eat them like once a week, just like ice cream I'll eat like once a week. Um, eventually I'm going to have to start eating cleaner and the cookies are not going to be a part of my weekly grocery list. Um, for a snack, I got these hundred calorie packs of, um, dry roasted almonds and those are good protein source, good source of energy. Oh, watching my son. <laughs> he's at an age where he's standing and it's so nerve wracking watching him fall because I don't want him to hit his head. But I also don't want to like freak out over everything because that'll make him think he's hurt when he's not even hurt. Um, I got spaghetti sauce for the pasta. Um, I got this um, No Stir Creamy Natural peanut butter. Um, I've not tried this brand before. Um, I usually get the Peter Pan brand and I use the peanut butter with uh, apples and rice cake. Do you find that when you watch YouTubers, they like totally draw a blank because they know that the camera's rolling? Yeah. <laughs> um, olives, I like to use these in my rice. And last three items, red raspberry jam. So the peanut butter, I'll use in the ways that I described. I will also have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's another thing I do. Late night styles when I'm really hungry and I'm contemplating doing like the Taco Bell drive through no, it's not the healthiest thing on the planet, but it keeps me out of the drive through and like an even unhealthier option. Last two items. Red kidney beans. Um, oh my God. Oh yeah. I was like, oh, they forgot to put the other thing in my bag. I am a huge um, chili person and I um, do make a turkey chili, which since going vegetarian, I have not made that. But I was thinking about making a vegetarian chili. Um, so usually when I make chili, I do these diced tomatoes, which are the basil, garlic, and oregano with the um, red beans. And then I grab just like a whole bunch of spices um, from my spice cabinet, which I'm in right now. Um, so I'll use like Italian seasoning, cayenne pepper. This is the... Um, Whole Foods one, and I've got the Trader Joe's smoked paprika, um, and then Italian seasoning. So yeah, I was thinking about making a vegetarian chili. I think I might actually make that tonight. Um, so yeah, that is my how I'm shopping these days video. Yes, there are some bad things in there. I'm not eating 100% clean yet. I know that I'm gonna to get to a point with my fitness that I'm gonna to have to start pulling out the junk 
Um, not there yet though. I'm still down on the weight. I still don't eat a ton, a ton of junk in the grand scheme of things. Um, but if I'm craving something, I don't want to deprive myself because I think that that makes you eat to excess. So, um, I hope that you guys found this video helpful and, um, yeah, that's basically it. So take care. Bye.